Hi everyone, this is Emily Smith with the Community Foundation, and in this video we're going to walk through how to re-register for Give for Good if your organization has participated before, or set up your profile for the first time if you're a new organization that just received approval. So let's go ahead and get started by going to the Give for Good website, giveforgoodnla.org. There's a tab at the top titled For Nonprofits, which is where you can go to find more information about eligibility, important dates, and necessary documents and resources. Before you are able to submit for final approval, you will need two completed documents. First is the nonprofit agreement, which needs to be signed by your executive director and board president. This year, we have made the fields fillable, and there's also a space for authorized digital signatures using Adobe Acrobat, so you'll just need to download the form first to utilize those features. If desired, you can also print this form, have it hand signed, and scan it to a computer for upload. The second document that you will need is proof that your organization is in good standing with the Louisiana Secretary of State. Instructions on how to find this are located here. You can save a free proof of good standing by following these instructions. Once you have both of those documents completed and saved on your computer, you are ready to go. Hover over the login button at the top right corner of your screen and select Nonprofit. You'll be prompted to enter your login information, which has not changed since last year. If you forgot your password, simply click Forgot Password and an email will be sent to you to reset it. When you log in, you'll notice that the back end got a facelift and looks a lot different than previous years. We're really excited about the updates and everything has been laid out to make it easier for nonprofits to update and find their information. I'm going to be demonstrating all of the changes in another video, so for now, let's continue with registration. You'll notice at the top right corner that there's a status update, which will say unapproved or updates required. By February 28th, you will need to log in, update the required information, upload your required documents, and submit your profile for approval. To do this, you will click on My Public Profile at the top to be taken to your profile overview page. This is where the main information about your organization lives. If you've participated in Give for Good before, all of your information from previous years remains stored so that you don't have to recreate a profile each year. To make updates and submit your documents, click Edit on the right side of the screen. Now you'll be able to change all of these fields. Before you can submit for final approval, all of the required fields must be filled in. You're welcome to come back and edit your descriptive information until profiles are frozen in April, so my suggestion is to fill out the required fields first, upload your signed nonprofit agreement and certificate of good standing, and hit Save right away. That way, if you have to step away from your computer, you'll at least have that portion done and can submit for approval. This year, you will upload your documents during this step using the Upload File buttons at the bottom of this form. So again, make sure you have your signed nonprofit agreement and certificate of good standing saved on your computer before you get started. Once completed, simply click Save to save your information. If everything looks correct, click the Submit for Approval button toward the top of your screen. If you navigate back to your dashboard, you'll notice that your status now says Awaiting Review. Community Foundation staff will review your submission and you will receive an email notifying you if your organization is approved to be listed publicly or if updates are needed. Check out our upcoming videos for more instructions on how to build out your profile with photos, videos, volunteer opportunities, and more. If you have any questions, please email giveforgood at cfnla.org.